This is the smallest military ship in the world. We have a ship that is only 19 feet long and can probably only hold one person. These are the smallest submarines in the world. Ever since a photo of a Ford F-150 went popular on social media and appeared on Reddit, people have been raving about the world's tiniest ship. Greetings and welcome back to Military Future. Today, we're going to show you the smallest military ship in the world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to see more fresh content like this. A naval ship that is constructed and primarily intended for naval warfare is known as a warship or combatant ship. Typically, they are a part of the state's armed forces. Warships are often quicker and more maneuverable than merchant ships, in addition to being armed and built to withstand harm. A warship normally only carries weaponry, ammunition, and supplies for its crew, as opposed to a merchant ship, which transports cargo. Warships are often operated by the Navy, but they have also been run by private individuals, cooperatives, and businesses. The line separating warships from merchant ships is frequently hazy during times of conflict. As with the Q-ships of the First World War and the armed merchant cruisers of the Second World War, merchant ships are frequently equipped and employed as auxiliary warships in times of conflict. Merchant ships were frequently pressed into military duty up to the 17th century, and it was not uncommon for more than half of a fleet to be made up of them. Up to the end of the 18th century, arming bigger trade ships like galleons was standard procedure. Warships have frequently served as troop transports and supply vessels, as demonstrated by the French Navy in the 18th century and the Japanese Navy in the Second World War. Let us go through the history of military ships. The earliest evidence of the use of ships in combat came from ancient Egypt, specifically the Northern Nile River, which was most likely used to protect against the people of the Mediterranean. Most certainly created in Crete, the galley warship was quickly imitated and popularized by the Phoenicians. Warships were always galleys in Mesopotamia, ancient Persia, Phoenicia, ancient Greece, and the Roman Empire. These long, narrow boats were propelled by banks of oarsmen and were designed to ram and sink enemy vessels or to engage them bow first and then follow up with boarding parties. By the Hellenistic era, the first fleets of warships with artillery were armed thanks to the invention of catapults in the 4th century BC and the following development of this technology. Ramming stopped being used in late antiquity and boarding became the main emphasis of galley tactics used against other ships from the Middle Ages until the late 16th century. According to the Naval Vessel Register and published statistics, the United States Navy now has about 490 ships in both active service and reserve fleet, with over 90 more either in the planning and ordering stages or under construction. The U.S. Navy owns and leases all of the ships on this list, both those that have been ceremoniously and formally commissioned and uncommissioned vessels. The prefix us is used to identify commissioned ships. The term pre-commissioning unit, or PCU, may be used to refer to a ship before it is formally commissioned. The Military Sea Lift Command frequently organizes and runs non-commissioned U.S. Navy support ships. The support ships with the designation USNS belong to the U.S. Navy. The ships that are currently on duty include commissioned warships that are actively serving, as well as ships that are members of Military Sea Lift Command, the Support Component, and the Ready Reserve Force, which are non-commissioned but nonetheless contribute to the U.S. Navy's operational force. Future ships are the ones that have been planned or are presently being built, from the keel being laid to the fitting out and final sea trials. Now we can see about the sensational boom and beaver that the U.S. owns for its military supervision and harbor patrolling. Social media users have been gushing about a cute little tugboat about the length of a Ford F-150, leading some to refer to it as the smallest ship in the U.S. Navy. The vessel is actually a security tug named Boom and Beaver and is only 19 feet long. The Navy boat, which was first designed to herd logs in waterways, is now an all-purpose vehicle that can pull small ships and set up floating security barriers to keep intruders away from larger submarines, destroyers, and even aircraft carriers. This week, the tug first surfaced on Reddit. The United States Navy eventually purchased a large number of these vessels for use in various harbor operations. One Redditor identified this particular tug as operating out of Point Loma Sub Base in California, saying, it's a security tug. Those protective barriers surrounding the water portion of the Navy base don't move themselves. It's the equivalent of opening the gate for cattle to go in and out. Unlock it, unlatch it, swing it open, and close it when the ship has passed. 
In fact, Boomin beavers may be found in Boston's US Constitution Museum on Google Maps. Here you can also see the beaver, which is said to be running the floating barrier around the oldest commissioned ship in the Navy in Boston Harbor. Additionally, the ships can be seen at several naval bases in the United States, such as Naval Base San Diego and Naval Base Kitsap Bangor. The floating security nets, which can be seen in the photo as strings of connected buoys, are close to all of the Boomin beavers. The nets create a visible security perimeter, a do not cross line, that keeps nearby shipping clear of warships costing a billion dollars. Norfolk Naval Station and Kings Bay, Georgia both have comparable tugs that you can board. In 2006, one of the little boats was auctioned off by the government. A boat was reported as being 19 feet long, 10 feet wide, and having a 5 feet draft. According to the power plant specifications, it has a ZF Marine transmission and a 260 horsepower Cummins 6 BTA 5.9 diesel engine. The boat received a top price of $100,025, which seems excessive for a vessel of this size. As the ship gets ready for its first deployment and war, the crew of the US Gerald R. Ford is finishing their training. The supercarrier is currently the largest aircraft carrier in the world and the largest warship ever built in terms of displacement, with a displacement of around 100,000 tons and a length of 1,106 feet. The US Pueblo of the US Navy is located on the other side of the globe. It was initially constructed for the U.S. Army during World War II and later repurposed as an environmental research vessel while conducting signals intelligence collection. The US Pueblo, which was equipped with two M2 Browning 50 caliber machine guns, is still the smallest warship in the U.S. Navy at 177 feet. The ship is still regarded as being commissioned by the Navy. It is still the second oldest commissioned ship in the Navy after the US Constitution, despite being attacked boarded and captured by the North Korean military in 1968 while ostensibly in international waters. The ship has been a popular tourist destination for about 50 years. The smallest of all Navy boats is the Boomin Beaver class security tug, which is only 19 feet long and has a draft of 5 feet, but they simply aren't considered warships. That is a class of ships, as was already mentioned, as the US Navy had at least two of the tugs at the time a federal contract opportunity from 2011 asked for a refurbishment. The tiny boats were first created for loggers to drag floating logs downstream, but the US Navy saw their potential and purchased them for use in military harbors. The booming beaver security tub, which is as long as a Ford F-150, is about 19 feet long, making it the smallest boat in the US Navy. The tugboat has a 425 horsepower, 10.7 liter engine, which is powerful enough to pull a submarine or a ship that is 100 times heavier than it is. So how do you guys feel after knowing the importance and needs of military ships and the sensational Boomin Beaver? Isn't it amazing how such a small thing has an impact this huge? Let us know in the comment section just below this video. Please make sure to like our video and press the bell icon to see more fresh and interesting content like this.